Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's Chelsea. So, it is day eight of VEDA, vlog every day in April, and I'm doing pretty good. I just have a couple of videos. I actually have to publish, but I need to add the thumbnail, so I wanted to work on that. Other than that, you can expect two videos up today, maybe three. And yeah, so I'm going to pick out my clothes and set up my makeup and my face stuff. So I'll hitch it back when I have that figured out. Okay, so that was easy enough. So everything here is all from Kohl's. I got these light denim pants. As you can tell, I'm very tall. About six foot. I'm going to do a purple undershirt with a blue top. There's razor back. I love this. I have one in pink as well. And it's a little glittery, but it's not like glittery. It's just sewn it, which is cool. Something I love. And then I have all my makeup. Hi, guys. I have all my makeup. So just really quick. Hair Rush, Mark Hill. I love, love, love it. Sorry, my hand got in the way. Um, and then my toothbrush. I keep it in that because we don't have a toothbrush holder right now. Um, I'm going to use this to put my eye on. It's a orange concealer for under my eyes for the dark circles. And then you got the highlight for eyes that I use. This is a number seven concealer brush. They're not very much, and they are the best, though. Uh, let's see. This one is e.l.f. And it was only, like, a buck. Let's see. Make sure the brush. It's a sparkly. Can you tell what it is? Or you guys can't see it. And then this is from Walgreens. I love it. My Kabuki brush. Got NYX spray, my deodorant, the green lotion set, and sexy intrigue. I have my number seven beautiful skin day cream in dry to very dry. Uh, number seven CC cream in light has SPF 20 in it. This is by far my favorite highlighter. It's CoverGirl. And it's in, I believe it's in fair. No, I think it's in light. I think it's in light. But it goes with the first set. It's like 100 to 105 or 110 or 110 or something like that. And then this one right here is Real Techniques. It's a, I believe. It's a buffer brush. But I use that just to put on my CC cream or even my um, regular foundation. And then also to blend in my concealer. And then I have these two mascaras because I'm going to curl my eyelashes, which I'll never curl. The number seven exquisite curl. And the Stay Perfect Long Lasting Volume. I like this one because you don't need to have any eye makeup remover. You just use water. But because I'm going to put it on top of this one, I'm going to need to probably do both. And then just a e.l.f. eyelash curler. Only at like a buck, I think. Actually, I think I got this at Christmas a couple years ago. And it was only like 25 cents. And then I got a new one. This one's from CVS that I just got. This right here. I absolutely love this. It's only like four bucks. But I love it. It's the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. This is like the only thing that works for me. And then this is a new version of the waterproof eyeliner and they changed the brush and I have to say I absolutely love it. I've only used it once when I just got it 
I think on Monday and haven't really done my makeup since but I'm going to do it today and it's also by Wet n Wild and I absolutely love it. It's in black. And then I'm going to use up some of this. I have another one. Uh, my husband's aunt got me another little trial one. But I love this. It's the Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which little tidbit that I got from when I was working at Walmart. Walmart. Walgreens. Wow, slap me upside the head, man. Um, instead of using something like this that's so expensive for just like a little thing, you can actually use either a highlighter like that or even a concealer or even foundation as primer and then I also got this for Christmas it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills gel uh, brow like keep in place and then I'm also using this that I had when I had a coupon so it was like super cheap the Anastasia brow is this one is in dark brown I had dark brown hair at the time and it actually doesn't look too bad with my black hair so I'm just going to keep it. Um, I did see, sorry for about the finger again, uh, I did see that a dupe for this is actually a NYX product so when I'm done with this or get close to it I think I'm going to go ahead and get that or I might just go ahead and get it when it's on sale. And then this right here is an angled brush. It's extremely soft. It is also by Walgreens, so Studio Beauty 65. So this one and the Kabuki. And they are the best brushes I've ever used. And then I'm, man, sorry about the fingers, guys. I'm like, I'm not a lefty. Um, and then I'm also going to try this. I tried it before. By the end of the day, I noticed that it's gone because I put it on my waterline. If it does it again the next few times, I might just use it as regular eyeliner and just put it underneath. But I like doing my waterline. So it's just a crayon. I'd open it, but I can't do that right now. Oh, wait, maybe I can. I might want to remove the tip. But let's see what I mean. It's like crayon. Now, the trick would be to put the cat back on. Um, I have Sephora blush right here. It is the Micro Smooth Rose Emotion. So it's both blush and highlighter. I'll just edit that out. <clears throat> so got that. And then I've had this for like a year since like it came out. But it's the Nudes palette of Maybelline. And today I'm going to be using this bronzy color. Oh, I kind of grabbed my other one. Um, I have a bronze liquid eyeshadow from number seven that I'm going to put underneath. And then I'm going to put this one right here on top. And for underneath, like my bottom lash line, I'm going to do um, this black one right here. And then for a highlight, I'm going to use this one right here. I think that's it. Oh, we did change Too Faced. I'm now using the Scentsy Relief, which I gotta get more. This size right here lasted us like two weeks because we've, I don't know, been brushing extra. But I absolutely love this. This thing works. Like, it is a reasonable price. I think this one was only like $3.50 and it's four ounces. So it's like the best thing ever. That and then mixed with using a uh, sensitive brush from a uh, toothbrush from Colgate, the Sensi Health one. So there's that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I'll probably put this in my hair. It's another Mark Hill product. I absolutely love this. I don't know where you can get it. I know that I've seen it on Walgreens.com. They didn't have it for the longest time. I used to sell this like crazy. It's a shine. It's a um, heat protectant. It's um, frizz control. It's just a light hairspray. But it's not one of those like sprays. It's 
one of these kind of sprays. And I like this because I can put it on my brush and brush my hair, or like I'll put a couple pumps in my hand, and then it, uh, my hair stays. I love it. And this brush I forgot to mention, this brush right here is actually made so that way you cannot have any frizzy hair. And I have to say with someone who has extremely, extremely <laughs> frizzy hair, this works. No other brush has ever worked. I haven't had frizzy hair since I started using this like a year and a half ago. And yeah. Oh, and then I just shove everything in this, which is a number seven cosmetic bag that I got free. And then some of my other products there that I tend to really not use. So yeah. And I'm using this as a mouthwash wash as well. It's the Walmart brand of the Listerine Healthy White Anti-Activity, Anti-Activity, Anti-Cavity Mouth Rinse. So yeah, I like that a lot. I've been using it. I think my teeth have gotten a little bit wetter. And then I'll actually brush my teeth, do the mouthwash, and then I'll use this. It's a Walgreens whitening, um, teeth whitening pen. And I got it on when it was on sale. And I absolutely love it. If I remember, I will show you guys in a different video. So, yeah. That's it. I'm already running 11 minutes. So, I'll see you guys in a few. Oh, and check out my shirt, man. Look at this. Hot Topic. Jensen Ackles. Supernatural. Oh, yeah. Jerk. So, yep. I will see you guys in a few. Okay, so I just wanted to point out something. So this is why I do my eye makeup first. And I'm going to actually be using this right here, which is Alme. It is a crack it. I can crack it with my left hand. Here. Why aren't you cracking? There we go. And then a little bit goes straight down into this little thing right here. Because if I were to do this and then do my makeup or do my like my foundation and everything before if I do my foundation first and then my eyes it would have been all over the place and then when I went to use a makeup remover it would have just been a disaster so but yeah this is the all my stick eye remover so I just wanted to show you that really quick. Okay, so just real quick. The Wet n Wild crayon broke just as I was in the middle of doing the other eye. So I actually don't like it though. So I think I'm going to return it and get the setting spray instead. Should be roughly the same. And this is actually what I used this time. I really like this. This is practically equal to the Urban Decay. So, and I'm not even close to being out of this, so, I don't know. Maybe I will get, like, a palette or something. Uh, but I want to definitely get rid of that one. And then here's the only I was talking about. It's hyperallergenic, which is why I like it. But you just snap, and it goes down. Snap where the line is. And then it goes downwards, and then you can clean up. I don't have to use these very often, but when I do, it's nice to have them. It's a 24-pack. I don't remember how much it was, but I got it at Walgreens. I got most... No, I got it. Everything is pretty much from Walgreens, except for the couple things that I got from CVS, which was the wet and wild stuff. So, yeah, and I still got plenty more in there. That to my collection and I just want to point out really quick this is a non-elastic band that is the Walgreens and I love it it's end up stripping out because I have such thick hair but yeah I love these they come in a pack of like five or six 
and they don't, I mean, it pulled out a little bit of hair, but it doesn't leave any indents. Like, this is what I did with my hair. I pulled in these teeth as I'm like moving the camera with it. It's just teeth bands. And I put a little hairspray in. But this is the final product. Let me see my face. I'll do a close up here in a second, but this is what I look like. See? Just have to keep adjusting this for some reason. But yeah, I feel good this morning. This is the final product. So all I did was just do some bronze. And then I just need some nook color, which I have out in the living room. Don't ask me why, I just do. And this I got for Christmas. I don't know if these are real diamonds or not. My husband actually won this at work. And I ended up getting it for Christmas. I don't usually do gold, but I really like this. It's like a snake skin gold. I don't usually like face clocks, but this one is cute, so. And then this right here, it has my symbol, which I'm a Leo. It's a book at Claire's, so that's it. I'll be back. So right now I am just uploading my clips so far. I need a boo-boo in this clip right here, but I think I fixed it, so. Yeah, and I got the kiddo in my lap, so this is a little difficult, to be honest. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so it's like 11-something, like almost 12, I think. Uh, baby skin diet bottle, I'm watching Scandal, catching up, and drinking my coffee. If I had a third hand, I'd show you. I'm on my second tumbler. And yeah, that's it for the moment. Hi guys! So I just had a Domino's pasta bowl and it was extra, uh, it was, it's penne pasta with extra Alfredo ham and bacon that I get and it is delicious. Probably the worst thing for you, but delicious. Um woo, get my hair down because I was eating with my hair and my food. So I'm listening to a podcast right now by Beauty and the Vlog. And yeah, just gonna work on some stuff here. The kiddo is fighting it hard. She doesn't want to go to sleep. But we'll see. She'll probably fall asleep in a couple minutes. All right. See you soon. It's really sad when it's 2.30 in the afternoon. And you're on your third tumbler of coffee. Okay. Just saying. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. 
So we went to Walmart, got a few things, and then got Popeyes, ate. I am now in comfortable clothes. Baby's on my lap. And yeah, that's it for today. I'm pretty much just gonna do dishes once she goes to bed and clean up a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Is this the right way? Good morning. It is April 7th, and it is day seven of Veda.